What's up guys, welcome to another episode in my Blender Quick Tips series. In this one I'm going to be showing you how to make really simple and easy landscapes uh, in about five minutes. It shouldn't take you guys too long. We're going to be using Blender's very own landscapes add-on. Now to do that, first thing you've got to do once you've got Blender open is go to Edit, Preferences, and just under Add-ons here, type in your search bar Landscape, and just make sure that checkbox is ticked because you want to install that add-on to do this. We're just going to delete Mr. Default Cube here. So hit X, delete. Now if you hit Shift A, go to Mesh, and you should see this landscape thing here has popped up on the menu. If you don't see that, then you haven't installed it properly. So just select that. And if you see here, you'll see this uh, little drop-down menu here. Just expand that, and you'll see lots of parameters here that you can play around with. One important thing to note is that if you click out of this, you won't be able to get that menu back and that's where you're going to be doing most of the editing for the uh, for the mesh so make sure that you don't click out of it basically until you're happy with what you've done so I'm just going to delete that and redo it so we're just going to zoom in a bit and you'll see there's lots of parameters we can play around with but some of the most important ones are probably the depth the height the edge fall off if you want to really shape your um, your landscapes and the random seed as well. So what the random seed does is it's essentially a um, it generates a random generation of the mesh based on the preset that you have. Uh, but we're going to use one of the operator presets. And if you click on this drop down menu here, you'll see there's loads of presets we can play around with. So you can see like flat stones, get this nice sort of Voronoi crackle kind of thing. You got lakes, which is cool. Um, but in this case, we're going to go with canyons. We're just going to drop the depth down a little bit. And I'm going to now apply that. So just click out of this menu, and that's going to be applied. Now I'm, gonna, I'm just going to scale this up to 8. So hit S and then 8. Now I'm going to move that over there, just out of the way. And I'm going to add another one. So hit Shift A mesh landscape and just zoom in again if you're wondering what I'm doing now I'm hitting the tilde key and then free which zooms into the object that you have selected uh, now I'm just gonna play with this random seeds and get another pattern that I like I'm looking for one with lots of dips okay I think that looks pretty good now I'm just gonna click out of that and obviously you guys can play around with the parameters more but this is a quick tutorial I'm gonna scale that to 8 now so hit S and then 8 we have two landscapes here. Now on that one that I just moved along I'm going to hit Alt G just to reset the location and I'm going to hit G Y 16 just so if we go to top view you can see they perfectly connect. I'm just going to join these two objects so click on the first landscape and then the second landscape and hit Control J and now we're just going to mirror this object so we get more room to work with. So I'm going to hit Shift A Add an empty, plain axis, G, X, 8. I'm going to click on my landscape. I'm going to come to my modifier section here, this little spanner. I'm going to add a modifier, and I'm going to add a mirror modifier. I'm going to keep the axis set to X, but I'm going to mirror this empty that I just created. So we're using that empty as the point of the mirror, and it's going to give us a perfect sort of scene here. Now I'm just going to apply that modifier, so hit apply. So now we're done with that. I'm going to come select this object. I'm going to come to object, set origin, set origin to geometry. Now I'm going to hit Alt G just to reset the location so we're dead in the center. Now I'm just going to delete that light. And with the camera, I'm just going to find a spot that I like. Once you find a spot you like, just hit Control Alt Zero. And that's going to set your camera in the position that you have your 3D viewport in. Really handy shortcut that is. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, like I said, it was just a quick one just to show you how to use this uh, add-on to make some really quick landscapes in Blender. Um, if you feel like you learned something, please hit the like and subscribe as it really helps me grow the channel.